And you're tired of being a pussy ass bitch! Get yourself some super rights man vitality! Send $40 to my PayPal account! This is some good shit! <coughs> God damn! Ugh! Just don't drink the whole fucking bottle! Last guy who did that went out to a bar, found himself an <coughs> eight chick, took that little bitch home, got her to ride his ass. Next thing he knew, he blew her through the fucking roof. Bitch floating around in outer space or some shit. God damn. Could have been charged for fucking murder. She still hasn't been found. So again, if you buy this shit, don't you drink that whole fucking bottle. God damn, you dumbass. It says right on the bottle. Doesn't it? 60 servings? I don't know. 60 servings, right? You heard it here first. Don't drink that whole fucking bottle. And don't you dare try to sue my ass for that shit. I'll beat your ass if you do. Yeah, that is some good shit. You know, fuck it. It's 60 bucks. It's so goddamn good I'm raising the price right now. So, link in the description below. $60 to my PayPal account. You won't regret that shit. So, I've been working on my Jabazon. And what's really told is she can actually cast... Two Valkyries at once at this point. I made this tortoise armor. Peace. A rune word. See, now in Path of Diablo, the most told way to play, you guys gotta get on Path of Diablo if you haven't yet. If you play Diablo 2 at all. And come back if you haven't, dog. If you haven't come back yet. Or shit, if you haven't even played. This is the most told Diablo game there is. Obviously. But yeah. <clears throat> Some new shit implemented in Path of Diablo. This guy behind it. Green dude. The modder. This is a path of a Diablo 2 mod. He had some toad shit, man. Now you can cast two Valkyries with this rune word. See? But anyway, here's the gear. I leveled up quite a bit. <clears throat> Haven't done a single battle run outside of just maybe three different times where my boys and I just walked it. All right? I never do battle runs, dog. Never do that shit. Except for... No, I don't do them in Nightmare or Normal either. I'm not this slatter. <clears throat> the only time I did was when I soloed his ass. All right, I level up in the pits. I start hitting the pits at like level 55 or something. I did my barbarian. It was hard with him. <clears throat> a bit more efficient with the Amazon, however, running the pits. The Javazon more specifically. So, uh, yeah, I've been doing that, man. But here, check this out. This fell from Diablo. My boy and I were running him, running Satan. This shit falls, and I grabbed it just in time before he could even snatch it up. I mean, for those of you who don't know, Iceman a little greedy, all right? So, just know that if you're going to play with me, I like to play Finders Keepers. And I don't want you feeling like you got to let Iceman grab all the shit, all right? It's not what this game's about, dog. If you see a fucking bird drop and you're playing with me, you better grab that shit. For I do. That's how it is when you're playing with me when I make a game. Finders Keepers, dog. Of course, yeah, there could be some generosity, but but I prefer finders keepers. You know, you gotta earn that shit. But nonetheless, <clears throat> found this train armor. This job is on has been absolute told. Level eighty three, ran a few maps. This necromancer that I've been chilling with, man, he's been casting lower res, and he has shit gear too. He find all his shit. We both have shitty gear, pretty much. But it's been a damn good time uh, running with these characters. In fact, check this out. I'm going to go and... Should I imbue? Do I have an imbue quest? Shit! I can't imbue. However, I did find a circlet. So let me identify this circlet real quick. Or not identify. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to keep psyching it. Check this out. With six peace skulls. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can re-roll a circlet, all right? I'm almost sure I found this in um, the Chaos Sanctuary. And check out this one that I have. I was about to use this. 
I was going to put two IES schools in that little fold. I haven't done it yet, of course. And let me know if you guys want me to slam this shackle. I'm scared of a little toad to slam that shit. Slimy little toad. I, I, I just, it's like one of the only decent items I found with this character. I mean, look at this. Look at this stuff I'm wearing, you know? It's very basic. Still using Rhyme Shield. Don't even have a Raven Frost. Um, I found an IES Melly Splash Jewel. Traded um for it. So, I don't know. I, I want to get a Cat's Eye, but people want, like, Mal at least for Cat's Eye. I'm going to identify. I, got, I have, like, five rare or a set amulets I found in Hell. I'm going to identify that shit soon, all right? Uh, so I'll show you guys, but here I'm going to I'm gonna cube socket, or not cube, I'm going to uh, re-roll this rare. I mean, there's some godly shit. I'm going to show you guys some godly circuits in a future video, all right? Or at least one in particular. This, holy shit. Um, I mean, these things go for a lot, depending on the stats. You can get run walk, that's your cast rate, two to all skills. Then you can slam these little toads and get three sockets. Burst! All right, I'm going to keep it. I'm almost positive this dropped in the Chaos Sanctuary. In which case, um, I could just keep re-rolling it. You know, I'm going to collect those perfect skulls. So yeah, so collect those perfect skulls, man. Um, if you roll yourself a toadish circlet, you could get like 10 or 20 high runes for that shit. All right? Ooh, that's right. Okay, here's the one. I was going to imbue this. <clears throat> man, I found some toadish stuff. In terms of charms, look at this. 20 life. No, that's a piece of shit, really. All res 4, that's not bad. Those trade. Look at this. This one's pretty nice. 7 MF. Found a Geeds. Um, I think it was Act 3 Hell. What the hell are you doing here? Sometimes I put other shit there so I can remember. <clears throat> but that just got there by, by mistake. But I don't... You know, it's, it's good to know um, your charms. You know, I have some really shitty ones from when I was, like, level 5 that I haven't even replaced yet. I just wait until I get decent ones. But, yeah, this one's pretty nice. That would probably go for, like, an um. Look at that. AR and MF. 100 uh, poison damage. Really doesn't do shit, but people like those things. I might trade some. I might trade it. Yeah, but she has some some okay charms. You know, still using this bow on switch. Um, it does really well. Uh, like I mentioned before, against uh, fire immunes. Or... Uh, lightning immunes. So yeah, the, the bow's told. And you know what? I got some new patrons. I got four new patrons uh, since I last posted the banner. All right. I posted a lot. I made a lot of videos, so I'm kind of posting them um, just one a day. So it's going to be a little while since I catch up. But I, I have it on my new banner now, and here it is. I got Clayton as a new patron. I got JN as a new patron. I got Gered, is that how you say that? And Kartan? Is that how you say it? Hey, sorry guys if I, if I haven't pronounced your name right, but uh, let me know. I mean, hit me up on Patreon or on Facebook if you want. I like connecting on Facebook. Link in the description below. Um, but yeah, let me know. I mean, shit. I just don't. I might I might got your names wrong. But I really appreciate you guys supporting me like you do. I really make that money go a long ways, man. So yeah, um, it's been. I wake up and I see that, man, and I was stoked. I can't believe I got four patrons in like a week. It's been very nice, so thank you. And if you want to become a patron, click the link in the description below. But yeah. Um, <clears throat> Amazon's been a good time, and like I've said many times before, I'm trying to find most of her own gear with her and not hand down from the Barbarian. Because so I found some goodies with my Barb, but the problem is I'm not really playing him much right now. So he's just stacking up a bunch of mid-runes, and I, I refuse to trade him for... Uh, Amazon gear and it's been fun, but here's the thing. He has a High Lord's amulet. I found a High Lord's amulet from the Trav in Hell, I believe. That is told and I could really use some IS. Ideally, she wants Cat's Eye over that, but I could really use some IS, man. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I was tempted to give her that High Lord's amulet because I'm like, fuck this shit. Look at how slow she's attacking. I'll hit the next break point if I get that High Lord's and then if I pop an IS jewel and a helm, I'll maybe socket this Shaco, or slam it, who knows, let me know what I should do with that Shaco in the comments below. Do I slam that shit and risk it, or I socket it? But nonetheless, I put an IAS duel in there, and I might be able to hit the next breakpoint. Alright? And you gotta, you gotta hit them breakpoints with the job is on, it's so told. But that's why I'm tempted to give her the High Lord's Amulet. Let me know in the comments if I should, or if I shouldn't, 
give her the High Lord's amulet that my barbarian found? Or should I just keep on grinding, um, trade the best of my goodies for a cat's eye, and then the search continues for freaking Storm Shield, for Enigma, for 30's Griffin, for Raven Frost, uh, for all that shit. All right. Here's my Merc. He's using this Style Point Shield. This piece of shit. I found this somewhere. And he's using a freaking magic sword, all right? He's using a magic sword. He ain't doing shit for damage and he dies right away. Part of me feels like these ones don't survive very well. I would think they'd have better survivability than the others because they have a shield. I know they don't block, but at least they get the benefits from the shield. But let me know in the comments, is there some fucked up shit with these Act 3 mercs? Where they just die easier than the others? I thought, if anything, they should be the ones that survive the most. I mean, I guess barbarians are thick. But he wears a shield, man. You know, shouldn't he be at least as... Uh, as uh, durable as the Act 2 mercs. Of course, they come with defensive auras. He has cleansing on him, though. That's why I like him. He has cleansing, and I want to give him a Lawbringer. But uh, the only single lem, lem room that I found with this character, I traded for my Razor Tail Belt. But nonetheless, Daddy got to get going. I've got a busy day ahead of me, not going to lie, but just a lot of shit I need to do. I'll hopefully take the dog out for a walk. Um... Fortunately, spring is on the way. I'm really looking forward to spring, dog. Let me know what you guys think about that. I'm tired of this bullshit winter. But yeah, like this video if you will. Hit the thumbs up button. Become a patron if you want. Link in the description below. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace be with you.